Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the uh, unit 3, unit 2 frequency response. So under this frequency response we have the various topics. So those are the resonance series, series resonance, parallel resonance, right? And what is the frequency response of series resonance and uh, parallel resonance? And the concept of bandwidth and quality factor, how the bandwidth which is related to the quality factor. So these are the uh, few, uh, some of the uh, topics in the frequency response. So later we will see the remaining topics in unit 2 <coughs> also. Now first of all, what is mean by the resonance? First we should know about what is mean by the resonance. Resonance, it is nothing but it is one of the phenomena in which the applied voltage and currents are in, in phase. Here, if there is no phase differences between the voltage and the current, so both are in, in phase with each other. Right now, we can and we are also defined as it is the phenomenon when inductive uh, reactance, which is equal to the capacitor reactance, that means uh, inductive and capacitor reactance get cancelled out, resulting the circuit into a resistive circuit where the power factor is unity. So, here the circuit is a pure resistor, means uh, the power factor is unity power factor, that means there is no uh, power factor angle between the voltage and current, uh, both are in phase with each other. Then the, so that the imaginary part of the impedance must be zero. Now we can see here, so XL minus X which is equal to zero and from this one XL is equal to XC. Here where XL is nothing but what inductive reactance, XC is nothing but what capacitive reactance. So this is the condition for the resonance. A circuit is said to be resonance if it is exhibits unity power factor. So this, this is also one of the definition for the uh, resonance. The resonance happens in electrical networks when we have two similar but opposite nature energy storing elements. Those are nothing but uh, L and C. L and what is L? L is nothing but inductance. C is a capacitance. So here uh, both are in opposite nature energy storing elements. Both are in uh, energy storing elements only. Now we can. So what is the resonant frequency? The frequency at which the resonance occurring in the circuit is called as a resonant frequency. It is also called as a natural frequency. It is denoted by the either F naught or F R. F suffix naught or F suffix R. So this is the resonant frequency. Now we can see what is meant by the quality factor. And quality factor is also called as a figure of merit. So here how we can define the quality factor means the energy storage elements components L and C must have good efficiency for storage of energy. So these components must have high quality which is measured as quality factor or it is also called as a figure of merit. So now we can define as like this Q which is equal to 2 pi times of the maximum energy stored per cycle by energy dissipated per cycle. Now we can see so what is the uh, quality factor uh, in the case of R resistance which is equal to 0 but there is no uh, resistance means it is a energy dissipating element it is not energy storing element but a induct inductor it is energy storing element which stores the energy in the form of magnetic now capacitor also it is also one of the energy storing element uh, which stores the energy in the form of electromagnetic but the dissipation in the case of inductor and capacitor which is equal to 0 but these two are the energy storing elements only and due to these elements uh, no energy will be dissipated now the Q factor for oral circuit. Now we will see the what is the Q factor, quality factor for oral circuit. That means uh, the maximum energy stored per cycle. So omega m is equal to. That means what uh, energy stored by the inductor. Omega m is equal to this formula of L i m square. I m square. Here the what is what is the I m? I m is nothing but maximum value of the current. So energy dissipated per cycle, which is equal to uh, power power by frequency. That means uh, I RMS square that is power RMS power I RMS square into R by frequency. Now we can get uh, IMS square means uh, I RMS means what is the relation between these two IM is equal to root 2 times of the I RMS. So that we can get so I RMS is equal to IM by root 2 times uh, and we can substitute those uh, value then it becomes IM by root 2 whole square into R by F. So this is the when we substitute these two values uh, in the quality factor then we can get the quality factor Q. So that is the quality factor Q is equal to omega L by R. So here what is the omega? Omega is nothing but what? Uh, 
frequency. So omega is equal to 2 pi ETF. So we can substitute that value, then it becomes the quality factor Q is equal to 2 pi ETF L by R. The quality factor for RC circuit also. We will see the quality factor for RC circuit. So maximum energy stored per cycle, that is nothing but so it is also or C also C is the energy storing element which stores the energy in the form of electrostatic that means omega m is equal to half C V m square. So V m is nothing but a maximum value of the voltage. Now so omega m is equal to W m is equal to 1 by 2 C into uh, what is V m? V m is nothing but what? Uh, I m into X C that is nothing but current through the voltage drop across the the pass to reactants the pass to reactants I m into x c whole square that is equal to uh, when we substitute those values and it becomes uh, w m is equal to 1 by 2 i m square by omega square into c energy dissipated per cycle which is equal to p by f this is the same formula only then we can substitute these two and we got the expression for the quality factor q for the rc circuit which is equal to 1 by omega c into r right in the case of uh, uh, rl circuit means uh, what is the quality factor q is equal to omega L by R, but whereas in the case of uh, RC circuit, uh, the quality factor Q is equal to 1 by omega into C into R. Now, now we can see the series resonance. So, let us consider the RLC series circuit. This is the RLC series circuit uh, which is excited by the AC. Now, we can uh, find the impedance of this circuit uh, Z is equal to R plus J into XL. XL is nothing but what? inductive reactants x c is nothing but capacitive reactants. So, that now the total impedance of the circuit z is equal to r plus j into x l minus j into x c. Here what is x l? x l is nothing but omega into l x c is equal to 1 by omega into c. So, here the, the free, um, omega is in radians per second. Okay. Now, so already we know the condition for the resonance x l minus x c is equal to 0 then we can get the resonant frequency from this condition. Now substitute oh, XL is equal to omega L, XC is equal to 1 by omega C. Then from this one, F naught is equal, what is the omega naught? Omega naught is nothing but 2 pi F into suffix 0. Now, so here we can get the F naught, F naught is equal to 1 by 2 pi root into LC, right? So this is the uh, resonant frequency, that is F naught is equal to 1 by 2 pi root LC, edges. So here uh, F naught is also called as a resonant frequency or also called as a natural frequency, natural frequency. Now variation of the reactants with frequency, variation of uh, both capacitive reactants and uh, inductive reactants uh, with respect to the frequency, that means uh, resonant frequency, here the graph which is represented the variation or change in the individual reactants with respect to the resonant frequency is called as a reactance curve. So this is called as a reactance curve. So here we know that the XL which is equal to omega into L. So, and from this one, XL is proportional to the omega. Omega is nothing but what? 2 pi into F. Now, here both are uh, proportional to each other. Then, uh, when omega is equal to 0, then XL also 0, and it is uh, uh, increasing gradually with respect to the frequency. And we can get the uh, linear characteristics. Then, uh, here, uh, capacitor reactants which is inversely proportional to the uh, frequency that means x is equal to 1 by omega. Now here we got, we got this type of uh, characteristics. Now when omega is equal to 0 and x is equal to infinity right and now which is started from the infinity and we got this type of characteristics. So this, this type of characteristics are called as a hyperbolic curve. So this is called as a hyperbolic curve right. So this is the and these, these are the characteristics with respect to the frequency. Uh, the variation of uh, both inductive reactants and uh, capacitor reactants. Now, now we can consider the net reactants uh, x uh, net is equal to x l minus x c, right? So here, when we subtracting these two, then we can get uh, uh, the net reactants. This is the characteristics of the net reactants. The frequency at which the total reactant uh, reactants curve crosses the frequency axis in the resonant frequency. Now, so here we can see these characteristics. Uh, at uh, resonant frequency that means omega naught uh, and which is crossing the frequency axis frequency axis that is this is the uh, this is the net reactance that is nothing but what xl minus uh, xz so now we can see uh, some of the uh, uh, param uh, means uh, some uh, some other parameters those are nothing but impedance uh, admittances uh, current uh, 
with respect to the frequency what is the variation of impedance admittances current with respect to the frequency already we know that uh, in rlc series circuit the impedance z is equal to r plus j into xl minus xc here we know that xl is equal to omega into l xc is equal to 1 by omega into c then we can substitute the value of xl and xc then it becomes z is equal to r plus j into xl minus omega l minus 1 by omega into c then we can take the magnitude of the impedance z is equal to square root of r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c into whole square right so here at resonance uh, xl minus x is equal to 0 so that what what is the impedance z is equal to r so here uh, whereas in the case of the resonance occurring the z is greater than or at all the frequencies except the resonant frequency right so at this condition at resonance condition z is minimum that is the value of r is equal to only uh, z is equal to r only right where so it becomes z is equal to r at resonant frequency that is nothing but omega naught now we can say so this is the uh, the condition of resonance that is nothing but xl is equal to xc that means xl minus xc is equal to zero then what is the impedance value z is equal to r only it is minimum and uh, remaining all other conditions so initially at omega naught is equal to that means the frequency is equal to minimum obviously here also impedance we got the maximum value and gradually it is decreases as like that at xl is equal to xc then this, that is the condition of the resonance then the impedance z naught is equal to r out or then again it will be increases gradually so from the uh, from the resonant condition right so this is the impedance variation of the impedance variation of the impedance with respect to the frequency so here already we know that so the admittance which is reciprocal of the impedance value right obviously which is uh, uh, inversely proportional to the impedance so that uh, so we have this type of uh, curve that is uh, reciprocal of the impedance means uh, so wherever the impedance is maximum then admittance becomes minimum right so wherever the impedance is minimum <coughs> then we can get the admittance as a maximum <coughs> now we can see the current uh, variation in current uh, so with respect to the frequency already we know that the uh, current uh, which is inversely proportional to the uh, impedance value so if the impedance is maximum then obviously the current is minimum right why because both are in inversely pro proportional to each other i naught is equal to v by z now we can see here so for different values of the r so for higher values of the r current will be lower and if for uh, lower value of the r the current will be more somewhat right so this is a that is a variation in current with respect to the frequency right so this is the phase angles so phase are representation of the uh, phase angle variation with respect to the frequency now we can see the quality factor in series resonance circuit so at resonance already we know that the condition xl is equal to xc right then the quality factor so it is also a same for both l and c elements that means inductor and capacitor elements that is q naught is equal to omega naught l by r which is equal to 1 by omega naught into c to r now we can see the cons consider the q naught is equal to omega naught l by r then omega naught is equal to already what is what is meant by the omega naught from the resonant frequency and omega naught is equal to 1 by root lc right so already we have here l by r so and we have to substitute omega naught is equal to 1 by root lc into l by r and here the denominator we have the root l into c is there and uh, uh, numerator l will be there then cancel to each other then it becomes the quality factor 1 by r root to root l by c right this is the quality factor so which is related to the r l and c elements right the quality factor for series resonance circuit resonance condition in terms of the resonance circuit element is as given in the below expression that is nothing but q naught is equal to 1 by r root of l by c right so the solid